Koran, I immediately thought, well, I'd love to do that, which I suppose was the start of everything. And uh, the staff at that time were, well, to my mind, even today, they were absolutely marvellous in their craft and my ambition was to try and get to their stage at that being a youngster and uh, from there on it was go 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 with the paintbrush <laughs> We don't finish one board at a time, we take each process through the set of boards until they're all finished together. This is where you cut down the tediousness of the work. Do you find the work tedious? Uh, it could be. Uh, a lot of showmen themselves uh, do decoration and uh, they set about it in that method, finish one board first and then picking that and by the time they've got halfway through they're a little bit tired of it which we could be here you see so if you take each process at the time then you you've got probably 12 or 20 balls whatever it might be finished together well a lot of blending's done with the spray with the pencil blowing in and also by hand but the secret of good blending always is to uh, work in wet colours it can catch up on you and uh, you get a rotten blend then Going back to Lakin, what were your first impressions as you walked through the door? Such a hive of activity, really. I mean, uh, that produced the machine from scratch, uh, which involved carpenters, carvers, painters, electricians, the whole lot. And um, as I said, that the, the skill of the craftsman really took me in actually and of course to this day now the, the craft is still appreciated in fact more today than what it was then but uh, the attitude i got then was to try and get to the skill that these people had um this is where a young fellow named edwin hall entered into the works who, who I consider the finest showman's decorator there ever was. He was very unassuming about it and uh, we were kind of separated at work in one direction but uh, socially began to go out together and uh, share the same views and music came into it. He formed a little band with his brother who was there and I used to go around with them to dances and carry the instruments, what have you, and set up a nice relationship, which I think helped with um, learning the work of funfair decoration. He was the kingpin to all this, Edwin, and he devised all these designs and patterns to suit the machine.
Trent went to the star. Christian scientists they were. Yes, of course, there's hundreds of these horses cut out and done. <laughs> Car. Nice, aren't they? It was based on the old Vauxhall. Concave flutes. Well, I'm blown. Good God. I never knew that. <laughs> but that's a knockout, isn't it? Of course, us. The staff used to knock these motorcycles out by the hundreds. But, um, I suppose that is me. Yeah, you know, <laughs> screwing on lamps. But these motorcycles, people have had a go, so they never get the right effect. We, teamwork again, we, we used to knock them out to a system. But I think, um, we got on ever so well together. Edwin and I, and uh, he started putting me on my feet in my own way. Not so much on artistic work, because I don't think anyone could get near him for that. But other things, designs and ideas for machine dodging, racing cars and, and uh, all this modern... As the machines were becoming more modern and faster, so we were producing modern designs. Um, lightning and speed and god of speed and things things like that. Where did he get his ideas from? Uh, well, I think um, we used to go to the cinema a lot, him and I. We were great cinema fans, two or three times a week, perhaps. And uh, he, de he devised a lot of ideas from the cinema. Oh, Billy Manning, this is, this is a wartime effort. Different car caricatures all out, all out of the marvellous machine, that was. A little bit of spice, yeah, that looks like Eddie. <laughs> He's a humorist. Nothing seemed to avoid Edwin. If there was something topical, he had it. And I watched this very, very closely. And uh, all the time it was more admiration than ever. And it came from inside, not outside with him. And that's where the influence came. It, it was marvellous. Uh, the silver and ambering, well, it's a question of uh, care and, and um, instinct. Uh, why I say that is when you're applying aluminium leaf, it's so delicate that you can hardly touch it. <laughs> 